Look at this scene. We have a warrior, a battered shield, and a chaotic battlefield covered in arrows. Usually, creating a scene with this level of detail, sculpting the character, retopogizing, texturing, rigging, and modeling all these props will take me days. But here's the thing. I didn't manually model any of this. Every single asset you see in that render was generated using AI. Today I'm going to attempt a challenge. I want to build a last stand animated scene in Blender, but I am forbidden from modeling from scratch. I'm going to use the new Triple 3.0 Ultra to generate the character, the weapons and the environment props, rig them and animate them all in the browser before bringing them into Blender for the final cinematic. Let's see if it holds up. A huge shout out to Triple AI for sponsoring this video and making this workflow possible. If you haven't used Triple recently, you need to look again. They just had a massive year launching Triple 3.0 and most importantly, Triple 3.0 Ultra. The new Ultra mode is a game changer for us 3D artists. We aren't just talking about generating blobs anymore. We are talking about production ready geometry, up to 2 million polygons for maximum surface clarity and fully upgraded HD textures. It's built for pros, not just for demos. It supports retopology, auto rigging and works seamlessly with Blender. So let's jump into the dashboard and start building our warrior. First, we need our hero. I have this concept image of a heavy infantry unit. Now, normally, turning this 2D image into 3D is a nightmare of interpretation. I am uploading this to Tripo. Now, watch this. Before it generates the final model, Tripo uses multi-view generation. It analyzes the single image and predicts what the sides and back look like. This creates a much more accurate structural base than older AI tools. And here is the most critical step, I am making sure Ultra mode is selected. This ensures we get that high fidelity geometry and sharp edges on the armor. Ok the results are in, let's look at the geometry first. Look at this white model. This is what I mean by clean topology. There's no weird layering or gaps that you usually see in AI models. The armor plating is distinct from the cloth. It actually reconstructed the shape, not just projected the texture onto a blob. Now let's flip the textures on. These are the new HD textures. It's true to input, meaning it actually looks like the reference image I uploaded. This is solid enough to be our hero asset. Now, the static statue is boring. We need this guy to look like he's in the middle of a battle. Usually I have to export this, mixamo it or manually rig it in Blender. But Triple 3.0 has a built-in rigging system. I just click rig and it auto detects the joint. That looks correct but here is the new feature I'm really excited about, the animation library. They have added over 100 preset animations directly in the browser. I can test walk cycles, attacks or idle poses. For our scene, I want him to look exhausted, like he's holding the line. Let's grab the idle pose. Perfect, I'll export this as a GLB file. A warrior needs a shield. I'm grabbing a reference of a battered medieval shield, upload, ultra mode, generate. Look at the depth on that wood grain. The AI actually displays the geometry based on the texture. It's not flat. And finally, the arrows. I need a lot of these. Tripos bad generation speed is incredibly fast. So I can generate a few variations of arrows and debris, rocks, in just a few minutes. We now have a rig character, a high fidelity shield, and our projectiles. Time to go to Blender. Importing into Blender is seamless. The textures come in automatically hooked up because we use ultra mode. The mesh density is high enough that I don't even need to use a subdivision surface modifier 
it just looks good right out the box. I'm parenting the shield to the arm bone. Now for the porcupine effect, I'm scattering these triple generated arrows all over the scene. Because the assets are high quality, I can put the camera right up close to the arrow fletching and it holds up. I'm setting up some dramatic lighting, a volumetric fog and let's render this out. And there we have it, a fully cinematic scene and I focused entirely on compositing and lighting, letting AI handle the modeling and texturing groundwork. If you want to try Tripod 3.0 Ultra yourself, hit the link in the description or the pinned comment. Registering through my link gives you an extra 500 credits to start creating and if you upgrade to the professional plan, use my code Tripod Crew to get 60% of your first month. That's massive savings. Go check it out. Make something cool and tag Tripo AI so I can see it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.